There's also a question about practice. You said, of I course, see. you practice now. And I, I think many people want to know how much did you practice when you were a student and then in All orchestras the and now? All the time. <laughs> um, even when I was in the Berlin Philharmonic, I still practiced. I, I remember one uh, tour we went to Salzburg and uh, <clears throat> I got it in my head, I should practice my scales. So I got out the Moist scale book, A, B, C, D, mm -hmm. and waded into that. And I mean, it, it really does something for your technique. But I remember after you would be playing a concerto and I'd come in the dressing room because I'd listen to this the, the last piece of the performance with the orchestra. After his concerto, he would go to his dressing room and I came in and he would be practicing. He'd be, after just playing an Iber concerto or something, because he had recitals coming up the next month. And that was something that we were discussing, right? That your, your past with learning from different conductors, how they rehearsed, and how you, yeah. you brought this into your own playing with rehearsing and really practicing and being prepared, really. Yeah, that's it. Be prepared. You know, I did my Berlin Philharmonic audition from memory. Really? Yeah. And I arrived, I wanted to play the Ebert Concerto because I just played it the night before mm -hmm. in, in England. And uh, I rolled up there and a piano player said, hey, this is not a piano competition. Do you have a Mozart Concerto? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? And he said, oh, D major. So I played it. Mm -hmm. And then I was asked to wait outside. So then there were five of us, like Michel de Bost, Andy Blau, me, and another two I've forgotten. Mm. And they said, okay, one after the other, from right to left, William Tell. Oh. And I still played everything from memory. 